Oh, mysterious stranger, I'm so glad you're here and that you're <clears throat> writing to me. It's been, I've been a little lonely lately. Please don't think our forest is strange or scary. But it's both of those things. So. Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Red Plays. So it's what makes it scary times, and what I've been trying to do, as you're aware, is play games that relate to what makes the scary episodes. And the episode that we just put out today, as you're watching this, is about the creature from the Black Lagoon. And guess what there are no video games about? The creature from the Black Lagoon. So I decided to put a pause on the association between the two... IPs, that's to say what makes it scary in Mr. Red Plays. Those are IPs now. Instead, I'm just going to play games that I want to play now. It is October, officially. We're solidly in it. Uh, and on October 1st, there are released just a ton of demos on Steam for uh, various games that w likely will come out, or maybe not will come out. Uh, so what I've done is I want to play a bunch of those and, and, and see what there is to see. However, during this time that I've been doing what makes it scary games, I've been trying, I've been, I, I noticed a game that I saw that I wanted to play, so I'm gonna play that first. All right, the game is Rootin'. Rootin' Tootin', that's what I say. Uh, and I don't know, this game just looked interesting, so. Oh, starting a new cycle will end the current cycle forever? Are you sure you wanna do this? These are some heavy questions for early in the morning. Got another early morning episode for you. Hi! I have work for you. We have a research station down at the remote frontier. In a word, Katie is on duty there now. I mean, Katrine. She's a mycologist and she found some mush kind of mushrooms again. Could you fly and bring me a sample? They haven't a very good lab there. Let's ask about the mushrooms. Some kind of endemic species again. It's often found there. There's nothing special about these mushrooms, but I want to get a better look. Do you remember the farthest station in the forest? I mean this station. We cannot obtain funding for it, and it's a pity. It's interesting and adorable there, and such a fresh air. I wish I could go, but I can't. Good. You need to relax. There is no connection and roads for a hundred miles there. A helicopter flies there every week and brings food. Your trip will last a week. Why is the helicopter once a week? That's because the helicopter has to be fueled. Flying is left off less often is cheaper. At this rate, they will soon be out of touch with the world for two weeks at a time. That's scary. By the way, in addition to mushrooms, I ask you to write reports every day. I need your perspective because it seems that this station is nothing but a loss. Check it out. Take a look and describe. There's no funding and it's a pity to close it. I promise to write reports and hit the road. Oh, okay. I guess I'm hitting the road right now. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. <laughs> Ooh, okay, it's flat. I see some flat. I see some flat and I see some building. And some road that he said there was none of. Definitely sounds like I'm in a helicopter. A chopper, if you will. A Huey, if you will. Oh, a golf cart? Oh no, a person? Hard to tell. Okay, uh, we're gonna crash. The helicopter's gonna crash. Run, rootin. Is that me? Am I rootin? Am I rootin for something to happen? I already got an achievement, so you you know we're doing well for ourselves. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, right. Oh, that's, uh... I'm getting some, I'm getting some salad fingers vibes from the way this character's moving. Can I sprint? I cannot. Alright. My mouse is, my mouse is here. Not sure why. Whoa, whoa. Not sure if the other keys do anything. Don't know what my controls are. You look around. <laughs> the station welcomes you with silence, diluted only by the sounds of the forest. None of the people come out to meet you. Although the helicopter can be heard from afar, you decide to look for them in the houses or around, or around, or around the station. All right, I'll do that. Oh, well, I'm not using a controller, so... Action is the enter button. I'll just try to assume... It's the enter button. A very rough map of the immediate surroundings. Okay, is that me there? 
Oh, the helicopter site. Okay, and then building. What's that spiral there? What's that shaded area there? What's that balloon there? A lot of questions. Let's go talk to this bird. Hello, bird. He flew away. Shot this building. Door is unlocked. The house is empty, but it looks cozy and friendly. Well, then let's go in. Well, then let's go in. Rootin, go in. What are you doing? Rootin. Rootin. Get in there. I'm assuming this character is Rootin, by the way. No one is in a house. It is empty. Okay. How about you? Nobody opened the door. This house is empty, too. What the hell happened here? It's supposed to be a research station. Get to work, scientists. This ain't no time for games. What the hell is this thing? What the hell is this thing? Here's another flat bird. Ha! Ah, scared him off. Now I'm getting Blair Witch vibes from this. So whoa, whoa, uh-oh. Dead dog? No! The dog lived with people at the station. It has been lying here for a while. I guess we'll examine the corpse. And we have to. A lot of clotted blood. The dog was killed by a predator. You see it partially skinned off. Ew. However, there's no trace left on the ground around. Now, if I've seen any CSI and whatnot, that means the body was moved. If I haven't seen any CSI or whatnot, that doesn't mean that. I guess I missed this building. Let's check it out. Houses were left by people. It's empty, dark, and quiet on inside. There's no Oxford comma here. I'm mad about that. Ask if there is anybody for miles and miles. Only forest. Oh, as if there is. As if. I thought it was like, ask if. Hey, is there anyone in here for miles and miles? No. Okay. Well, we got a bridge. We got a bridge, people! And a river. And a waterfall. And another bird. So, I'm doing pretty good for myself. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We got a fork in the road. Oh, uh, no. I don't want to make any decisions. Can I check that map? I had a map before. I'd love to have that back. Oh. Notes. I'm going the right way, I think. Sheets of paper have been lying for a while. They got damp. Uh-oh. One of them had an inscription. But the text was damaged because ink flowed. Huh. Let's try to read. Only a few phrases can be made out with difficulty. I dug everywhere results, and it seems everywhere. What does that mean? Let's write something on a blank piece of paper. What exactly to write? There's no one around. Let's write about the forest. I don't feel comfortable here. Why am I just overthinking? Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Why am I writing this? It calms me down. If you are reading this, please answer me. Okay. I, I hope I get an answer then. I am supposed to make reports of this thing, so... Do I have to, like, find the paper to make my report? Am I, like, a school teacher? I wasn't given the proper material material that I need. Oh, uh, no, there's way too much uh, uh, choice here. I can go down, I can go right. I'm assuming down might eventually loop back around to that other fork that I had. I'm gonna go to the right, though. Just seems fun. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, someone dug their shallow, three shallow pits. Mushrooms sprouted from the pits are strange and unpleasant. At least it looks like most mushrooms. Let's inspect the pits. You can see the shovel marks. The pits were dug by someone from the station. At the bottom of each pit, there are strange pale formations. Mycelium, maybe? It was underground until it was disturbed. Okay, so underground, there's this, this mushroom cultivation happening. Uh, and that must maybe that's what's everywhere. I don't know what these things are. I'm I'm a little scared of them I feel like they might be some kind of talisman of death or something. Oh, is this a spiral? Oh boy, it's getting weird Uh Oh, the disgusting leathery sack lay on the rotting leaves It is swollen from the fluid that fills it and pulsates slightly unpleasant odor permeates the air around Sprouts go into the litter from under the leaves and penetrate the entire embankment through the tightly stretched film on the side of sack, you can see some large and dark object floating inside. The sack is braided with roots. Pale sprouts of roots connect it to the ground. They ripple slowly in time with each other. Uh, something's going to come out of there and chase me and kill me. So, that's something to look forward to. Let's leave. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh, is this the end of the road? It's not. The bushes pre Oh, maybe it is. The bushes prevent you from going further, but you feel something strange. It's as if something is important hidden behind the green wall. Well, then let me through! I gotta find, like, a machete or something. Alright, I gotta go back. 
is going to require some coffee. Boy, you can kind of go anywhere in this game. I like I like went down, and now I'm just kind of here somewhere. I don't actually know where I am. Oh, there's that path. Okay, I'm going down now. No, but see, it's looping up. It's looping up. Oh, it looped. Now I'm back here. So, I don't know. I I, I think I might have gotten to see everything. All right, it's 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 getting super yellowy all of a sudden, and that's that's a little concerning to me. It's getting a little yellowy and maybe a little staticky. That bodes ill. Did I go down here? Did I check this out? I don't know if I did. Oh yeah, dead dog. He's fine. Just walk it off. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, look at that. That's nice, handy. So maybe time is just progressing in this game and uh, it's just gonna happen. All right, so, oh, it looks like there are two bridges. Hmm, maybe I went to the top one. That spiral is definitely where that sack thing is and then up something. I feel like that shaded area is where the trees I couldn't progress through. So I don't really know what else I can look, look at. I don't know what that thing is there. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and try to go down. Oh, it's way dark. Can I leave? What if I go back? Before I go back and go down, try to go back to the helicopter area. I wonder if I can, like, end the day. Although I guess there's there's not going to be a helicopter because it only shows up once a week. Forgot about that. Well, it's getting pretty dark. Uh, am I just supposed to wander around forever, or do I take a nap in one of these homes? I don't seem to be able to enter them, so. All right, here's the bridge. This is definitely the upper bridge. So what I'm gonna do is go back and try to just like follow this this path, or not the path, but I don't know what you call this thing. Cliff, a hill, whatever. I'm gonna follow it. See if I can't find that. The bottom one, what happened? What happened? I'm inside now. All right, so let's do typewriter. Day one, a report. Right how the fight to the station went to flight? The absence of people? Yeah, as soon as I just marked on top that no one had met me. Although the helicopter could have heard from afar. So, there are no people at the station. There should be five people on this shift. I didn't find anyone. I really hope they went somewhere. On an expedition, for example. And nothing bad happened. Let's talk about the dead dog. What worries me almost as much as the lack of people is the scary find near the station. Found a dead and decomposed ding dog at the station. I don't want to think about it, but it looks like someone killed it. Uh-oh. Uh, and let's talk about... Oh, we examined the corpse. It's still hard for me to see corpses, even if they are just animals. But something made me take a closer look at the dog. The examination gave nothing new, but confirmed my fears. Some kind of animal had killed it. I don't want to see this animal because I don't have a weapon. And there are no people here to help me. Talk about the strangeness of the forest. It is a strange forest. There's something wrong with it. Of course, I'm not an expert. Then what the hell am I doing here? And seem a little jittery for obvious reasons. But there's something here that shouldn't be. Yeah, let's talk about the pulsating cocoons. What clearly shouldn't be anywhere. What clearly shouldn't be anywhere is those nasty pulsating sacks I found in the woods. I don't know what it is, and I don't want to know. I can't help thinking that it looks like some kind of living cocoons. Boy, we can talk about just everything, can't we? Not far from the station, I found an awning. Someone's notes were lying there. I don't know why, but I also wrote something on a piece of paper. Tomorrow, I have to remember to go back there. I think I figured out what mushrooms I was sent here for. They're weird, especially their mycelium. You can't even see a normal mycelium, but this looks more like the roots. If they are mushrooms at all, of course. <laughs> Tomorrow, I will continue to take look around. If people are in trouble, or worse, I have to find them. But I'm not sure that looking for something in these places is a good idea. Panic attacks, <laughs> with a K. Fresh air of nature. Mm. It's a great thing this nature brought back my panic attacks. This trip was supposed to be a relaxing vacation, but it didn't work out. That's how my first day here went. I hope the second day will be more enjoyable. It's dawning. I won't sleep. I won't fall asleep anyway. Okay, great. Well, there you go. Don't come in. Ah! Ah! Howdy!
me, neighbor. Are you awake? Can I borrow some salt? I'm out of salt. So I thought I'd come and ask you for some. So can you give me some salt? This is the scariest thing that could ever happen. This is the scariest thing that could ever happen. If I was alone in the woods by myself and somebody just came a knocking, asking for some salt, I would die. I would simply die. Salt is very scary. Uh, I don't have any salt. No, of course not. Then I'll have to look for it myself. You're not going to help me. I'll do it myself. You think you'd at least find the salt without you? To nod. <laughs> Good. Glad that you support me. Although, of course, it would be better to give salt than nod. I know you have to. I know you have if you look. I just don't know why I need salt. The hell? My name is Igor. Hey, Frankenstein. I'm the local forester. A lot of people come here on shifts that I and I live here. I like it here. I'll look after the animals. Put rings on pheasants for identification and put pointers so that stupid strangers don't get lost in my forest. Who's missing? Nobody's missing. What are, where are you going to go from here? Dima, Katie, Alex? You and me. We're all here. In the woods. Do you think I'm lying? Maybe it's you who can't look for the people, huh? Maybe you can't to look for the people, huh? You say you haven't found anyone? Have you looked in the hollows of the trees? Dummy. Have you looked under the roots? Have you looked in the fallen leaves? You just have to know where to look. To tell about a dead dog. <laughs> that, is that a Harper Lee novel from the 20s? Is that Tuzik, is that Tuzik dead? No, not Tuzik. Why'd you give him a name, Rootin? You're talking nonsense, neighbor. It's resting. Oh, he's not dead. He's just resting. I knew Tuzik as a puppy. It used to be frisky, but now it likes to lie down because it's dead. Don't worry about it. It'll outlive you. All right, goodbye. I want to my place for now. You can come if you want. No, I won't. Uh, and if you're not too squeamish about my company, you can only come in the morning. I plan to go for a walk in the woods in the afternoon. Maybe we'll meet there, though. All right. Fine. Oh, 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 oh. It's day two. Wait. Wait. Where are you going, Igor? Come back. I can't, I can't go into the house. The house is no longer there. My home is no longer there. Hunger. Hunger will grow, but it will give us what we need when the time comes. If we don't need the gifts, it will fix us and we will need them. I can't go into the house. Huh? Oh, it's you. I was thinking about mine and didn't notice you. What do you want? What is, what is it? Oh, so you like to eavesdrop, do you? What I mutter is none of your business. You think I don't know why you're here? You won't change anything. It's always been here, so keep your nose out of it, neighbor. To ask, and why are you here, in his opinion? <laughs> to decide where things will go from here, people like you come everywhere to decide. But no one here gives a damn about your decisions. Yeah, move away is probably for the best. This guy doesn't seem like he's all, all there. Uh, there's some new stuff I see. This flower was not here yesterday. Whatever the hell this thing is, was not here yesterday. This one looks a bit like an ice cream cone. Mmm, delicious. Uh, so I wrote down on that piece of paper that I wanted someone to answer me. Whoa, that tree. Uh, so I think that paper's gonna have something written on it now today, so I'm gonna go check that out. Uh-oh. Something's going on here, too. I don't know if that's uh, more mushroom or if that's what, but... Mm. All right, let's see what this has to say. The same sheets of paper on the table on which you wrote a few words yesterday. Now there's another entry that wasn't here before. Let's read it. Oh, mysterious stranger, I'm so glad you're here and that you're... <clears throat> writing to me. It's been, I've been a little lonely lately. Please don't think our forest is strange or scary. But it's both of those things. So. So make yourself at home. Let's write a reply. Uh, what's going on here? I didn't expect to get an answer. I stop understanding what's going on. What's wrong with this place? What does it do what, uh, what it does? What does it do what it does? What does it do 
what it does. Why am I here? All right, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I guess time to just wander for a day. Go check out that pulsating sack. Got nothing better to do. Oh, are these the three? Oh boy, they're 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 growing. They're growing into something. Wait, so if they grew this big in one day, then that means they must have been planted like the day before I got here. It's kind of the only thing that makes sense in my book. All right, here we go. Oh, I thought it was gone for a second, and I was like, that's even worse. Oh, can I not uh, interact with or click on? Maybe the shrubbery will be gone. Whoa! 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 Something crawled into the thicket. Something big. You were trying to remember if there are snakes here. Those were no snakes. And you try not to fact think about the fact that it doesn't look like a snake. All right. Well, you know what? I don't know that I am going to play more of this. Uh, it's probably going to be it for this anyway, this episode. Um, hey, if you want to see more, let me know. I'll, I'll come back to it. But uh, this is interesting for sure. I, I definitely want to know what's going on. So I'll probably play this on my own. But... We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Tune in in three days. Today should be Friday if my timing is correct. And that means that the next episode is on Monday. Nice little Monday episode for you. Yeah. So uh, that'll come, come your way. And I'll be playing some of those demos I talked about up top. But until then, I've been Mr. Red. Stay spooky out there, everybody. And remember, keep watching.